another wonderful beautiful almost feels like spring day at the little house now what i'm about to show you is this is our setup jane's first going to polyurethane the floor of the second bedroom all right first coat now what this is she's going to come out here this is our quarter round and baseboard all right now over here is what i'm doing is i'm going to cut both of these 12 foot two size all right so and i'm going to label everything show you how i labeled it and it's this wall is going right here now i'm not building the complete wall because i have to go retrieve the door that's going to be the front door now my small group on thursday night are going to build that wall with a door that we have now loaded in the truck so and this is the material that we're going to be using today for that wall right we're gonna cover up that window to protect it from rain and everything but that's the one that goes in this opening so to be honest with you it takes us anywhere from 20 to 30 minutes to unload unload everything off the truck and get everything organized and ready to go because we two old people that person you see with her back turned to us it's my fellow backyard carpenter, Jane. Good morning. So what's she doing? She's going around and just uh, some cracks that were created by our patch. And there's been a number of times that the cable company came up through the floor. So she's going around and plugging all the holes. And I think there's one more over here. Yeah, she'll plug that one too. And she's using a wood filler that is also, yeah, it looks like, that wood filler and it's also stainable all right we're we just realized that in the closet we got to continue with the staining you know just at the entrance so that it looks a little better because i could only get just so far with that drum sander and i'll be honest with you i forgot to do the edge sander inside there now we're also going to see what happens when she polys right there you can see the shadow of the light in the hallway Okay, then we're going to decide what happens when the poly goes on it. Does it blend? So this is how we are getting our day started. I'll come back in and uh, I'm not supposed to do that. But anyway, I'm going to show you what Jane's doing with the poly. So what I have done is I've got both of my 2 by 4s which one's going to be a sole plate, the other's going to be a top plate, and I've Cut them, gonna be cutting them the same dimension. It's 140 and 11 16th. I will be cutting to the left of the line with my combo saw. I'm making sure that my ends down there are even before I cut this side. And I ain't got it plugged up. Uh, not sure what to do with my gloves, but here we go. I got this thing plugged up. Now it's just a matter of putting them in place, label them as, you know, sole plate and top plate, and then start doing my 16 on center on each one. Since this is a weight-bearing wall, I'm going to do 16 on center. Today I'm just going so far with my common stud because I've got to go retrieve the door that goes in that opening. But anyway, on your rule... There is a red mark that says 16, all right? Then it says 32 on down the line. So I'm looking for my red, the red right there. Dee, dee, dee. All right? And that's what I'm marking.
This is the speed square. Speed square. All right, notice that it says there's a little arrow right there, and that's where you start your measurements, not on this thing. Okay, so I'm now going to go and start doing my 16, where the studs go, 16 on center. All right, so I'm going to use first three quarter of an inch and then half because a stud is one and a half inches. So now I have separated the sole plate from the top plate and get ready to put in the common studs. Now one other thing I have done is the halfway point of this wall is 70 and 3 eighths. So I want to be able to know exactly where the center of the door is going to go when we get to that point. So now it's just a matter of starting to put this wall together. I'm only going to go so many common studs right now because I got to go retrieve the door. Okay, Jane has uh, accomplished a lot since I've been out there messing around with stud walls and she's actually plugged the holes, painted the walls, stained in the closet. And now she's applying the polyurethane. Now what we're going to try to determine is where she is at that threshold part. You know, once it dries and we put the second coat of polyurethane after we buff it out, you know, will it match? Will it fade away? We'll see. I have marked where halfway of the wall is, 73 quarter. Now I know that my opening for the main door is 37 and a half. So divide that by two and you get 18 three quarters. That's the opening. Now I will have to do a rough opening when we bring the door on site. So now I put three common studs on both sides. And with Jane's help, we're going to raise this up as soon as she is through painting. What's a common stud? What's well, a common stud? Yeah. Well, it's not a jack stud. It's not a king stud. It's just a lowly common stud. But it's a necessary common stud. All right, so she's painting. How close are you, my dear? I'm going to go get your headsets, not headsets, your earmuffs okay, right good. now because we're going to make some noise with the guns. All right. Before we raise this wall up, I want to make sure that it don't slide off the end. So I put these little temporary cleats up so when we raise it up, there's no way that wall can slide off the end. <laughs> All right, this represents the center of the wall. These represent the halfway point for the door that I will retrieve. Now, my lovely wife will narrate the rest of this. Well, you see, Van's got the front wall up, and he did it almost all by himself. Amazing. Looks good, doesn't it? It's looking like a real building. The small group that he has on Thursday nights will build fourth wall over here like they did this wall and did a great job for the gigantic window that you can see that's going to go in over here and we'll get the fourth wall up and he'll go get the door and I don't know if his small group will put up the door or he and I'll put up the door I don't know it's us and oh so we're gonna put up the door yeah I got the baseboards painted over there for the small bedroom so I guess the next step after the polyurethane dries is to sand it lightly put the second coat on and it'll be ready for baseboards and bedroom number two will be done we can check that off our list so I guess then we'll be focusing on this shed which is coming alive real quickly thank you